Namaste, yogis. The theme of the month on the Digital Yoga Network is Fun Yoga. And so if we've ever had the opportunity to practice together, you might know that I really enjoy any shape which opens up the heart, any backbending shape. And I love to explore new and fun ways to get in and out of backbends and just fun backbends that you can put into your practice. So we'll do a couple um, here. And these are pretty deep backbends and heart openers. And so you'll probably want to use them as the peak experience in your practice. So the first one will come down onto all fours. And this is sort of a Shamasana or locust variation. So the first way that you can get into it is coming down onto the forearms, like dolphin shape with the arms. You want the elbows stacked under the shoulders, the palms flat on the earth. And so what we'll do is we'll lift one foot up and then kick the opposite leg and catch it with the foot that lifts. So we'll start by lifting the right foot, kick the left leg through the sky, and catch the leg with the right foot, and open into the heart here. Spending as many breaths as you like, at least five to 10. And we'll come down and switch sides. Remembering that you can marinate in the shape as long as you would like to. Second side is the left foot draws into the seat. We kick up through the right leg, catch the right thigh with the foot, firmly rooting through the palms and forearms into the earth and opening into the heart. Radiating all the way for our right toes. Marinate here as long as you'd like five to ten breaths if they're available. We'll come down. Pause in child's pose. A couple of breaths. Or staying as long as you need to. If the arms need a little break here, you can wrap them around the legs. Palms float up back by the feet. Again, staying as long as you'd like in Balasana, our child shape. But we'll now move on to the second stage of our Shalambhasana variation. So you come down onto the belly, and rest your forehead on the earth, and slide the palms back mid-chest level. So same thing, we'll start by drawing one heel into the seat and kicking up through the opposite leg. So the right heel will draw in first, and we'll kick up through the left leg. If you have the space, chin comes onto the earth, hug the elbows in, radiate through your left toes. Five to ten breaths if they're available. Remember in to stay as long as you like, or come out when you need to, and we will switch to the second side. So the left heel will draw in toward our seat, we'll kick up through the right leg. And if you have the space, lifting the chin, shoulders back, elbows draw into the midline. Radiating through the right toes as if they could touch the ceiling. Then releasing when you're ready. Extend the arms overhead, palms press. Full pranam here, release.
staying as long as you'd like, we'll move on to the third variation of this shape, where the palms will start on the earth, as we just did, and then you'll have the option to take the hands behind the back in class. So, starting with hands mid-chest level, shoulders roll back, elbows in. We draw the right heel in toward the seat, kick up through the left leg and catch, chin on the earth if you can. Then if you have the space, sweeping the arms behind the back, Coming down, you're ready. Pausing between sides. And moving to the left side. We kick up through the left heel. Right leg rising. If you have the space, clasping hands. Coming down when you're ready. Full pranam, extend the arms overhead, palms press. Marinating here as long as you'd like. We'll move on and press back to child's pose, balasana. Knees nice and wide. Our second heart opener will be from downward facing dog. Let's pause a few breaths. And as you're ready, tuck the toes, hips high, peel it back, down dog. We'll start by rooting through the right palm. This is like a scorpion variation in downward facing dog. So the right knee will be bent and we'll send our right toes to the sky. Press into the right hand and reach through the left heel. And then your left fingertips can start to become light. And maybe you take them out to the side. And maybe the left hand lifts off of the earth. Maybe you sweep back and catch the right foot. If you connect with the foot, kick the foot into the hand, create some space. Five to ten breaths, releasing with your mind. We'll enjoy the second side now. Rooting through the left palm, reaching through the right heel. With the left knee bent, send your toes to the sky. Shift the weight into the left hand, come onto your right fingertips. You can start to take this right arm out to the side. Breathing in any of these stages. Maybe the right hand sweeps back. Maybe we connect with the foot. If you have the foot, kicking foot into hand, creating some space in the shoulders and in the heart. Five to ten breaths. Releasing when you're ready. And shifting back. Balasana, child's pose. In child's pose, inviting the breath to naturally slow down. Inviting yourself to receive the benefits of your heart openers. So I hope that you had a little bit of fun in these variations.
Thank you and see you soon.